Hello students, welcome to Max Dhoni. In this video, I am going to discuss third and fourth questions of problem 14 in chapter 20. So, determine the analytic function whose real part is y by x square plus y square. And the fourth question is y plus e raised to x cos y. So, real part is already given. We want to find an analytic function f of z. So, let's start. Given that the real part u is equal to y by x square plus y square. We want to find f of z is equal to u plus i v. An analytic function f of z whose real part is u. That is y by x square plus y square. Already discussed the Milne Thomson method to find an analytic function. Milne Thomson method explains f of z is equal to integral of ux of z0 minus i uy of z0 dz. So, we need to find ux and then uy. ux derivative with respect to x. So, y is constant. We know that 1 by x, derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So, minus 1 by x square plus y square all square. In case of x, here we have x square plus y square. So, minus 1 by x square plus y square all square. Y is constant here. And the derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x is 2x. That is minus 2xy divided by x square plus y square all square. Now uy. uy, we have num uh, y is in the numerator and denominator. So use the d by dy of u by v. This rule. So denominator into derivative of numerator that is 1 with respect to y minus numerator into derivative of denominator with respect to y is 2y divided by denominator square. So open the bracket x square plus y square minus 2y square divided by x square plus y square all square which gives y square minus 2y square is minus y square x square minus y square divided by x square plus y square all square. Now we want ux of z0 that is ux at the, the point z0 replace x with the z and y with the 0. So, we get minus 2z into 0 divided by z square all square. So 0 by something is 0. U y of z 0. Put x is equal to z and y equal to 0. That is z square divided by z square plus 0 square all square. Cancel z square from numerator and denominator. We have 1 by z square. So, f of z is equal to integral of u x at z0 is 0 minus i u y. u y at z0 is 1 by z square dz. That is minus i is constant. Take it outside. Integral of 1 by z square dz. So i minus 1 by z square is the derivative of 1 by z. So i 1 by z plus constant of integration c. 
derivative of 1 by z is minus 1 by z square. So, integral of minus 1 by z square dz is equal to 1 by z. i is constant. So, i into 1 by z is plus c. So, f of z is equal to i into 1 by z is plus c. Which is the analytic function with the real part y by x square plus y square. In second question, the real part u is given by y plus e raised to x cos y. We need to find an analytic function f of z with the real part u. So use milne thomson method to find the analytic function f of z. is equal to integral of u x at z0 minus i u y at z0 dz. Find u with respect to x. y is constant so 0 e raised to x derivative e raised to x cos y is constant. Now u y with respect to y y derivative with respect to y is 1 plus e raised to x is constant cos y derivative minus sin y. Now we want u x at point z 0. Put x is equal to z and y equal to 0. We get e raised to z cos 0 is 1. Now u y at z 0 get 1 plus e raised to z into sin 0 is 0. So, this is equal to 1 and ux is e raised to z. And the analytic function f of z is equal to integral of ux at z 0 e raised to z minus i into 1 dz. Integrate with respect to z e raised to z integral with respect to z is e raised to z minus i is constant i integral of 1 with respect to z is z so e raised to z minus i z is the function plus constant of integration the for the analytic function with the real part u equal to y plus e raised to x cos y is e raised to z minus i z. In this way, we can solve all the problems in the question 14 using the method Milne Thompson. Hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.